Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Screw Toy Action Figure Review. And today we'll be looking at the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Wonk. And it's about damn time that we get Wong in 6 inch form. He's appeared in so many MCU movies now that it's ridiculous that we haven't had a 6 inch form of Wong. He's appeared in Doctor Strange, Infinity War, Endgame, Spider-Man No Way Home, Shang-Chi, and still no figure, man. But finally, here we have him, and he looks pretty damn great. But we'll get a closer look here at the packaging, and we'll get a closer look at the figure itself. Now, getting a close look at the packaging, it is your standard Marvel Legends packaging. You get Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Marvel's Wong, Hasbro, Marvel Legends series right there. A very nice image of the Sanctum Sutorum window on the side. Very nice image of Wong. On the back, same image, just enlarge. It read up on Wong right there, so you want to pause that and read that now. You can do so. The rest of the figures from the wave, and I think I'm only going to review Wong and American Chavez. I'm not too excited for the rest of the figures. I might pick up Master Mordo, but we'll see. The build figure does look quite nice, but eh, I can go without it. Get a whole bunch of bullshit down here. Same image of Wong on this side. On the bottom, get a whole bunch of other bullshit, but you do get the barcode right there, so you want to pause it and get that now. Can do so, but enough about this packaging. Let's crack this bad boy open. Now, getting a quick look at all the accessories that Wong does come with. He does come with the left arm of Rintra, I believe that's how you say it, and it also does come with an interchangeable hand. He comes with a set of spell casting hands, and he also does come with an interchangeable right hand to hold his sword. And the sword does look really nice. It has a very nice wrap here on the grip, painted very nice in white. The little Handle piece right here is in a very nice metallic silver, and the rest of the sword is cast in a very nice gray plastic. And the last set of accessories that he does come with are these nice portal hand casting spell effects that we've seen previously with the No Way Home Doctor Strange, and they do look very nice, man. I feel like these are pretty much a perfect representation of what we see on screen. And here's Wong up close and personal, and a lot to take in, man. This figure. Um, I haven't messed around with him too much, but he does look really, really great. Just straight off the bat, that head sculpt is uh, pretty great. It's crazy how good the Hasbro team is getting with these face printing technologies, man. I mean, that's Wong 100% right there, man. Like, it, it's crazy. It's like they've just shrunk him down into six-inch form. But looking at the rest of the body, there's so many colors, so many vibrant, bright colors that just pop. This, this dude's going to stand out on your shelf. Uh, pretty great, man. So many colors again. Purple, orange, yellow. Get some gold over here, some blue. There's so many textures, so many details. It's, it's crazy what they did with this figure, man. Um, I'm pretty blown away, if I'm being honest with you. Like, even looking at this right here, I don't, I'm not sure what this design is, but you can see all that very nice detail. And uh, he is penless, 100% all brand new body sculpt, I believe. Yeah, pinless arms, pinless legs. Yeah, man, this dude, this dude is freaking crazy. But uh, getting a close look at all the details right there on his torso, on this little tunic skirt piece. You can see some yellow robes right there, some white and purple robes right there. Oh, that's like a lighter purple right there. That's like a lavender. And then the inside is yellow. And then getting around over here, you get some like uh, some padding, some like. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it, but you know what this reminds me of this 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 costume reminds me of like a samurai I don't know what it is about it And then actually now that I'm thinking about it the sword that he comes with yeah Is this supposed to be like Wong in a samurai get up? Oh Man, that would be so dope if they go like a samurai route with with Wong That'd be pretty dope on the side over here. You get the sling rings uh, Sculpted very nice in there some very nice metallic gold paint and then uh, I do like the asymmetry as you get a wrap over here and then you get this gauntlet piece over here, which I'm not sure what that's about, but it is painted in a very nice metallic gold with some blue over it. Wrapping to the inside, you can kind of see this like arrowhead in there. I don't know how well you could see it, but I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like, what's the name? Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Like maybe he can throw it out and hit somebody with it. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope if he does. But yeah, man, this this figure is actually blowing me away. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this this figure is pretty dope, man. And just getting a close up look at the head sculpt. I mean, look at that, man. You get all that very nice detail in there. Even like the scarring on his face, those wrinkles. Th this thing is freaking crazy, dude. Damn. 
back of its head is just sculpted very nice. No, no paint or anything. But you even get some details here on the costume. But yeah, man, solid figure overall. His legs are pretty plain. They're just like uh, smooth pants with wrinkles sculpted on there. And then the shoes are just normal looking shoes. But I believe they are brand new. But yeah, man, solid figure overall. I really do enjoy it quite a bit. And then getting a quick look at his sword again. It is just a gray plastic with some metallic gold right there. And then some white on the handle. If I can get her to focus. Yeah. That looks pretty dope. But yeah. Enough of me gushing over this figure. Let's get a closer look at articulation and some size comparisons. Now, getting a quick look at Wong's articulation. His head is on a dumbbell joint. So, with that new setup, he can look up this much. And actually, I think that neck is a separate piece. Yep, it's a separate piece. So, it plugs into the torso very much like a import figure. So, he can look up, damn, a great amount with that setup. I really do that, like that a lot. And he can look down a great amount. Great head pivot. Dude, I, I, they need to do this with every figure. I, I believe the first time I seen them do this was with the uh, Red Skull and Dormammu. So, man, and they just improved. Ah, man, I love this figure. <laughs> I like this figure quite a bit, man. Uh, his arms are on ball joints, and they do move up a great amount. See, see there? He does have upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that are pinless. So that is very nice. Does he have rotation? Nope. But he does have a hinge here at the hand that hinges up and down. Not much down as that wrap does get in the way. But on the other side, and eh, nope, still kind of gets in the way. So uh, more up than down, and it does rotate full 360. He does have a ball joint here at the waist that can pivot a great amount to the side, a great amount to this side. He can crunch this much forward and that much back. He does have upper thigh cuts. Let's see there. He only does have a single jointed knee as the design of the pants are real baggy. So it makes sense. And it does rotate a full 360 if you would like it to. And it does have, oh, I think I just popped this leg off. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second to put that back on, guys. This is the second time I popped someone's thigh off, man. Did the same thing with the hobgoblin. But uh, he does have single jointed knees that... Uh, man, this leg keeps popping off. Okay, well, we'll figure that out right now. But uh, he does have single jointed knees, but they still get still get a great range right there, as you can see. He does have hinges on his feet that hinge a good amount forward, a good amount back. And he does have great angle pivot with pickles at the bottom of his feet. Now, getting a quick look at some size comparisons. Here we have Wong next to the Mayfex Iron Spider, the Marvel Legends Integrated Suit Spider-Man, Mayfex Black Panther, the Marvel Legends Sylvie, and last but not least, his karaoke partner, Shang-Chi. And there you have it, a very solid figure overall. I really did enjoy this figure quite more than I thought I was going to. I really did like him in promo images, and I and it was one of the few figures I wanted to pick up from this wave. But just having it in hand and playing with a, around with him just this last couple of minutes, man, it's been it's been pretty dope. I really do enjoy him quite a bit. But uh, yeah, solid figure overall. I do recommend picking it up. That that freaking face printing technology on that figure, man, it's scary how how accurate they look to the actors that play these characters and these figures. And uh, yeah, they're just getting better and better, man. And I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. But yeah, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. The links to all those are in the description down below. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.